Take your picture of this blog being so in dot. Step over right now and hit the pick button. This shit is also taught in here. If you're gonna insult me like saying show up and drink chocolate milk, I haven't drank chocolate milk in years. If I do, it'll be my coffee, okay? I'm 38 years old, about to turn 39. So I don't drink kids' drinks. You put away each other's things, okay? So shut the fuck up and listen. If you're gonna be the one who goes around, see, I need a haircut. You don't want to play on my work. Don't put your fucking name on my work. If you didn't like the goddamn story, don't put your name on it. It's not yours. That story I wrote, Stitchy and Dealer, I wrote that in February of 2014. I wrote that just as I was thrown off my class reunion group. As I'm going to learn a few months later that Andrew Ian died of passed away cancer. One of my all those metallic purposes. He was diagnosed in 2005. So my classmates, one of them, the one who organized the 20 year reunion, apologized. Finally. Finally in the summer, he finally apologized. He wanted to figure out how he wants to make up to help me out. I'm going to tell him how to do it. Get my museum in the hands of public libraries. Up there. Because I know the owner of Glendale High School, one of them, no, two of them, really don't want my work out there. They want to say, they want to keep Glendale High School like fucking Mayberry. I'm going to say newsflash, you little fucks. It was never like Glendale It never was. If you were saying I, my posts were offensive, where I did analysis, comparing to Pleasantville, well, you're about half right. Pleasantville in the movie, 1958, was Glendale High School in the Glendale Heights 1980-89. I gave her a term. My religious keeper. It's called the Stopia Years. Why is it called that? That's when the games came in. That's when the Latin Kings came in and made their pissing territory there. As well as the gangsters out. I saw the sixes and the fives. Which is the graffiti. The five is the Latin Kings. The six is the gangsters Sattles. So you want to say what you said of me. You rather carry can join a gang than we're gonna work. If they can join a gang, I failed. It's because I'm trying to keep your kids out of a gang. I don't want them putting another hole in no kid's head because of the colors they wear. I've seen the evidence of this too many times. I've seen the markings, I've seen the tags. As a 13 year old, my parents won't believe me out of this. My deep rooted hatred for gangs. Rooted that far back. I hate them. I, mean, I can't stand a gang banger. I want to pull them aside. Either wail on them or talk some sense of them. Depending on their age. Because the future of a gang banger. Is where poor sense. Stay in the They don't want to call the shots behind bars. They want to be the one. Who has a street fame. And that fame. Is killing someone. Either by. Drive by shooting. Or overdose. I mean, they're big on the drug trade. That's how Chicago gangs work. They're super gangs. You don't understand the climate, some of you are Christians. You don't understand Chicago's climate. The gang climate. They're so fabricated in the fabric of society. It's scary. You realize what they did. They integrated in the society, trying to hide the gang colors. Try how what they are. But you look at the tattoos. The ace, the king, which is like the playing card, is a Latin King tattoo. And you'll see other ones out there. They're very recognizable. As I had nightmares about this kind of game maker demon. This is rooted in reality. I was talking about this for years. Because I've seen the aftermath this stuff. My parents didn't believe. They thought I was making this shit up. Like it's not a horror story. Well, in truth, let's keep it in reality. That reality of 1988-89 with the gangs, that was a reality in Chicago, Flinder Heights, Addison. As Addison 
during the time my cousin lived there and when Michael lived there was the biggest drug bust in Dewey's County history. You want to go around saying I'm a poor Uncle Pest? You want to let me in with them? You want to let me in, want to let me in with a game maker? Someone who killed, who put bullet, bullets in someone's head just because of colors they were? Because of race? Because gangs in Chicago are not for everybody. They want to see it. I'm going to video. You're saying this is too long to read. You saw the video I pointed out. The gangland. I was trying to educate you about what the gangs are like in Chicago. You want to say they don't pass that. Vampire Freeze. Wake up. You saw what I pointed out. That's my territory. That's the landscape of Lake Fossil. That's the era of Lake Fossil. What made Lake Fossil so dark is the history of the gangs. Because 1993 was still the height when the Latin Kings were still a street gang. That's before they reorganized in 1995, almost 20 years ago. That landscape is what makes my work so much darker when you read in the history. As you small towers are too paranoid to realize this. Mary San Giovanni, Keanu Pedro Bork, you idiots are behind years about this sort of thing. Your small towners in a world where you cause controversy, only so you can handle. Mary San Giovanni, when you did the dirty and therapy thing, that's equivalent to what Frank Joseph Collin did when he prayed to Skokie in a Nazi uniform when he's a self-hating anti-Semite who turned out to be a child of being faggot. You want to go around degrading my learning disability saying I am inept because I have a learning problem? Get off it. Get off your high horse. As for Mike Brendan, saying to you, you're on a high horse so high where you fell off, it's a snap of your neck. You know how that happens. You're either in a wheelchair or die instantly when you take a fall that high up. You want to go around to grab my disability, my writing ability. It's going to be the thing that will be the end of you. Then your careers, your retirement. You want to put my retirement in play? It's not going to happen. The only way you retire if you have a block in your hand and point blank range. And why it happens, say hello Billy Force me. Because you're going to Stephenville. Like President Palpatine. 